Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim uh, uh, brothers and sisters listening I greet you with the greetings of peace Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Is the mic okay is it okay um, <clears throat> The nasheed that I'm going to recite first is uh, one which is rendered in Urdu and I'm sure it's one that many many of you have heard before um, it's a classical nasheed which is about Bilal radiyallahu an Oh, and uh, <clears throat> this is my own ver- like this is my rendition of that particular nasheed. When I heard it, and I came to know the meaning of this nasheed, it became one of my most favorite nasheeds. Um, although at the time I didn't understand uh, the the words, I had to learn what it meant, and it really became one of the nasheeds that touched me. And uh, the background story is that Bilal radiallahu anhu, who was an Abyssinian slave at the time of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That even at that time, my brothers and sisters, that racism existed, and he was a black Abyssinian slave. So when he said La ilaha illallah, his owners, his masters persecuted him so much so that they got tired in torturing him, radiallahu anhu. They would beat him day in and day out. But he persevered and he kept saying, Ahad, the one Allah, Ahad, the one Allah. Look how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala honored a black man in this dunya. That Allah was to make this man the personal mu'azin of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa can you imagine? Allah, cho- Allah honored him to be the personal mu'azin of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That he, radiallahu anhu, was to be the one who would follow the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam everywhere that he went to make the adhan for his salah. When the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam passed away, it was very difficult for Bilal radiallahu anhu to remain in Madinatul Munawwara because at every corner and with every turn he remembered the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and so therefore he chose to leave Medina and he went to Syria, Sham, where all the persecution is happening right now. Bilal who went there. One day after a few years he saw the Prophet in his dreams and the Prophet said to him that, Oh Bilal, how is it that you do not come to see me anymore? No sooner did Bilal wake up from his dreams, he set forth towards Medina Tul Munawwara and this is what the nasheed is about. Many of you have heard the nasheed before I'm sure, but you probably didn't hear the story behind it. So on his route from Sham to Syria, uh, from Sham to Medina, it was a long and tiring journey. And in the journey he remembered some of the advice that the Prophet ﷺ gave to him. And this is what the nasheed is about. Just to finish the story of when Bilal radiallahu anhu entered Medina to Munawwara, um, Has- uh, Umar radiallahu anhu came to him and said that, Oh Bilal, please call the adhan. And he refused because he, don't, he couldn't bring himself to make the adhan after the Prophet ﷺ's demise. So he refused them. And then Hassan and Hussein radiallahu anhuma, they came and asked him that, Oh Bilal, please make the adhan. And they were very beloved to him radiallahu anhum. So he accepted and he made the adhan. It is said that that day in Madinatul Munawwara, all the people of Medina, men, women, children, they came out of their houses and they were weeping because they remembered the good old days from the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the nasheed goes like this, Bismillah. <coughs> Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Tadam he Bilal Aaj Chalne se Aari Tadam he Bilal Aaj Chalne se Aari Lo ab al wida al wida he hamari ye lo mera Quran ye lo meri sunnat ye lo mera Quran ye lo Abraham, 
हो जो मुसीबत सबर तुम उठाना मगर दिल किसी का न हर गिज यही याद नसीहत हमारी लो अब अलविदा विदा है हमारी तुम्हें पुल सिरात पे खुदा कर मिलूंगा तुम्हें पुल सिरात पे खुदा कर उम्मत को उस पर से गिरने न दूंगा करूंगा वाली निगहदारी तुम्हारी करूंगा वाले निगहदारी तुम्हारी लो अब अलविदा विदा है हमारी अगर न हो तो कौसर पर मिलूंगा अगर न हो तो कौसर पर मिलो मैं उम्मत को प्यासी जाने न दूंगा बुझाऊंगा तिशना लभेगी तुम्हारी बुझाऊंगा तिशना लभेगी तुम्हारी लो अब अलविदा विदा है हमारी लो अब अलविदा विदा है हमारी नशीद नशीद इस बेट लॉन्गा बट आ तो आई विल स्टॉप इट देयर इन द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ टाइम But just to conclude with the last two verses, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is telling Bilal radhiyallahu anhu, and in effect, he's telling us, his ummah, that don't worry if I don't see you next to the fountain of Kawthar, which is the verse I ended on. The next verse says that don't worry if I don't find you next to the fountain of Kawthar, that I will see you next to the mizan, and I will make sure that your good deeds, are, the good deeds, are in your favor, that they weigh for you in your favor. And then he says, "Sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and agar wa na huto, and if I don't find you next to the mizan, then don't worry. I will see you in the arsh, and I will cry for you, and I will intercede on your behalf. And then the nasheed ends. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.